entire game because he was in an offensive explosion for both games. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know if I've ever been a part of a game with that many points in it. Fresh off the all star break, I guess. Um, and then, second, you seem to kind of fit in seamlessly. Um, you, you had the 14 assists. Uh, just what did you make of, of your fit? And how was it like uh, playing with the guys out there? Um, it was great just uh, to get back on the floor. Um, just, you know, obviously you want to win, and that's the most important part. Um, but, you know, uh, watch the film. You're ready to go on Sunday, so. For us, uh, I'm uh, sorrow in this game. Like, you tried to do some things that we seem to do before for like a lot of screens, a lot of off ball stuff. Um, what was your takeaway on what you felt like was most different in your debut with the Clippers versus you know any other game that you were um, just trying to find ways to, to be effective while I'm on the floor. Um, and whatever acts to me, springing, whatever rolling, handling, whatever that may be, cutting. I just try to do different things to impact the game and my uh, IQ to be able to make plays for others. What do you think was most challenging uh, about what the Kings offense uh, was, was bringing? Um, you know, they just they made some, some, some shots early um, and so they didn't ever miss. Um, you know, their pace, they played a good pace, uh, but they made some tough shots. And, um, you know, it was a scoring battle for all that long, but. We can be better defensively, start with myself, just being better um, defending at, at a high level, which we know how to, and um, I got to be able to set the tone with that. Russ, uh, you got a big ovation, obviously, when you uh, heard your name announced. You also got a big ovation when you checked out for the final time. I saw you hyping up the crowd there a little bit there down the stretch. I just wanted to ask you uh, specifically about the fan support that you had here in this debut. Oh, um, man, it's, it's, um, it's a blessing, you know, um, just the excitement in the building. Um, the enthusiasm from fans and just the support um, that they have, just not just for me, but for, all, for the overall team was, was great. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can be able to you know, keep that going as the season goes along. And um, I'll do my part by playing as hard as I can, uh, you know, when given opportunity. Russ, you're obviously going to learn more about your teammates and Kawhi PG, but what do you take out of tonight, your first taste of playing alongside them, and how you can fit in with this team and how far this team can go? Yeah, man, you know, so many, I see so many things um, just that I'm thinking about now when I go home and watch it from tonight is how I can be able to help make the game even more easier for them um, so they don't have to work as hard. And, um, you know, we'll get there, obviously, it's the first game. Um, you know, and uh, I'm going to do my part and make sure I can do my homework and kick in and make the game easier for guys around me. What will you remember the most about your debut tonight? Um, you know, just the ability to be able to go out and compete, you know, I think that's something I don't take for granted, uh, being somewhere we're given an opportunity to go play. Um, not just that, but the support of uh, the organization, the, uh, my teammates, uh, the fans um, overall. Uh, it's a great, you know, uh, debut, but just didn't get the win, and that's the, the, the sad part about it, but uh, taking out out of it, just being able to go out and compete. And, uh, the support system around us um, was at all time high, so we're very appreciative of that. And Russ, uh, Lawrence Frank said you bring a dynamic that this team has, doesn't have. And today it was a different pace that this team was playing with. Uh, yeah. You got the ball, seeing guys like PG, Kawhi, Norm looking from the outlet for you, from yeah. you. So do you see yourself being in that role where it's, it's constant go once you're on the floor and guys got to be able to keep up? Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I bring to the game, uh, my pace and speed. and. Uh, I want to be able to bring that to this team and uh, bring it in a way where guys feel comfortable knowing that if they run, they're going to get it. And that's my job, so better find them in score position and make the game easy for them. Russ, offensively tonight, even beyond the 175 points, the way that you guys played on that end of the floor, even with it being the first game, does that give you some kind of confidence like as a team going forward? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, scoring ain't going to be a problem at all for us, as you can see. Uh, but we just got to lock in and know, defend how we know how to. Uh, we got some great defenders on the floor. Uh, we just got to do a better job of containing, uh, play without fouling, um, and defend the best way we know how to. Remember what's for? Uh, Russ, this team made a franchise record 26 threes, and it coincided with, with your debut. I think you had seven and eight, or eight of those. Um, one thing to say you have the shooting but to go out there and you have all those shooters out there just what's that like knowing you have 
four guys out there who shoot the ball and you're able to attack the way you want. Oh, I mean, it's, um, it's great as, as a point guard, you're going to have many options and it's hard uh, for the defense because they don't know what to take away. Um, either you're driving to the basket, touching the paint, um, and spreading out to guys to open threes, miss and make. We live with open shots and uh, it's my job to be able to find them.